all right guys this time we are not rewriting conditional statement but we are converting conditional statement into its contrapositive and converse now unlike in rewriting conditional statement we are to preserve the original hypothesis and original conclusion we are not to change the hypothesis and conclusion we have is we have to have it at the same way um unlike in converting so if it's converting you know we are to change we are to alter some some concepts or some rules here so yeah well, let's have first a difference between contrapositive and converse before we convert the original statement here if it is raining then the ground is wet so at the top here we have the contrapositive it says here that the contrapositive is formed by negating both the hypothesis and the conclusion then after that we are to switch the rules so as noted in in other videos um i've been telling you to first identify what the hypothesis is including the conclusion so that it would be easier for us to convert the original statement right so as noted in the tandem if then it will always be if hypothesis then conclusion so um let's highlight that one for visual learners so let's have here green for the hypothesis uh -huh. their hypothesis then let's have other color for conclusion the ground is wet there all right we have purple and green still okay so now that we have noted what the hypothesis is and um, the conclusion in our original statement, let's now convert this into its contrapositive. So first, we are to negate both the hypothesis and conclusion. Uh, yeah, conclusion. So when we say negate, we are to have its opposite meaning, have its opposite truth value, right? So the um, the negation of it is raining is it is not raining. Others may say it is false that it is raining, or we can say it is not the case that it is raining. Or simply, yes, it is not raining, right? So that's the, contra uh, that's the negation of our hypothesis there. Um, the negation this time of our conclusion the ground is wet would be simply the ground is not wet, okay? Although, yes, you may say the ground is dry because you're thinking that the antonym of wet is dry, but preferably adding the word not would have, you know, automatically the, the negation of our, of our original phrase or proposition. Okay, so let's now do the contrapositive. Okay, there, okay. So we have here if and here then. Now, it says that we are to negate. So we will, we will have the negation symbol there, the curl. But aside from negating both the hypothesis and conclusion, we are to switch rules. Now note that after the word if, will always be the hypothesis, right? But we are to switch roles. The hypothesis this time will not be the original hypothesis, but the original conclusion. You see, we switch roles. Original conclusion becomes now the hypothesis. So in that case, we'll now have here C instead. The original conclusion becomes now the hypothesis aside from considering um, the conclusion to be the hypothesis this time do not forget that we still have to negate that in the same manner our conclusion this time okay our conclusion this time will be the original hypothesis still switching roles so 
in that case this would be the age that we were talking about earlier but we also have to negate that so in that case um the contrapositive of the original statement becomes now if the ground is not wet then it is not raining there you see we negate both the hypothesis and the conclusion and aside from negating them we switch rows now let's compare it this time to converse as for converse we, we don't have to negate anything here, but we simply switch rows um, of our hypothesis and conclusion. So in that case, same thing with the contrapositive, the concept of, of um, switching rows. This would now become if the ground is wet because it says that our hypothesis this time is the original conclusion and the conclusion this time then is actually the original hypothesis which is it is raining there so you see it will be a bit easy if we identify first what the hypothesis and conclusion are so that um, we can we can switch right away rows and we can negate whenever we need to negate um, just in case this example is is still confusing for you don't worry i'll be posting another video that will have another samples for us to practice more on converting an original statement into its contrapositive and converse all right see you in my next video then